Hello everyone, Carnage here, and as you can see, I got the FNAF Security Breach plushies finally. Now before we get into the actual review, I want to tell you guys something. Yes, I admit, they look <laughs> worse than they pick the pictures. They actually look kind of bad. And here's the thing, I'm going to say this before I start reviewing them. Funko, around the time, I'm pretty sure around the time that they started doing the actual reviewing, I mean, that reviewing, the actual designing of the plushies, this quarantine stuff started happening. Therefore, it just started messing up everything, you know? It just start so they couldn't, like, get the right fabrics they needed. That's why they feel weird and it's hard, like, why they're weird. Because they probably had a deadline and they couldn't do it. Because they couldn't get the right materials because they were too expensive. So, without, so, without further ado, let's get into the review. So, first up, we got Glamrock Freddy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this off the bat. I am the kind of person who is proud of his detail. I'm proud of my detail. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff missing, but I gotta admit, it looks interesting. I like the, uh, like, what they actually took the time to put the leg warmers on. There's a lot of different things, like, he should have the painted claws, the little makeup right here, fangs, ear piercing, and a little more this way and that way. But, like I said, Funko, they, it was, they had to use a different fabric, so they probably just, I don't know. But, overall, you can at least tell it's a Freddy. You can at least tell that it is an actual Freddy. You can tell it's a Freddy. So, uh, I'd say, and also, printed bow tie. I mean, Vanny has a bow tie. Look, she has an actual physical bow tie, but he has a printed on one. That's like the biggest, con that's my biggest issue with this. If they had an actual, if Glamrock Freddy had an actual physical bow tie instead of a printed on one, I'd say I'd probably get this a 9 out of 10, but for now I'm just going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, so next up we got Vanny. Can you tell the problem? You probably can't tell because of the camera, but her head is massive. Like, massive. Her eyes are massive. I understand the eyes. And look, they're not even straight. They're cr they look like cross-eyed. Like, they're looking, they're looking at the camera and looking off-screen at the same time. But I will appreciate that instead of actually like ma printing on the colored fabric, the different colors fabric to make it look like different materials was used, it, they actually did use different colored materials, which I will say I res thank you for that, Funko. Thank you for that detail. And the smile. The smile. That's, that's the only thing that I'm sad that I wish they put in because the smile is like the most important part. But other than that, the coloring's pretty good, and other than the head... Uh, and the arms, they're kind of tinier. They're kind of tiny. Like, normally the arms and legs are about the same size, but this was a little tinier. And these just, like, arms kind of look like stumpy from a distance, and when you look closer, they still look stumpy. But other than that, I'll give that a 7 out of 10, because that's probably one of the best-looking ones in, like, in all the wave. So next we got Montgomery Gator. I gotta admit, I don't got that much problem with the plush. Except for two details. One, why is the mohawk not an actual, like, stuffed mohawk? That would have looked much better. That look. You see his printed pants? I gotta admit, they did a good job with the pants. They did a good job with this. Also, the star, this part's not yellow. It's supposed to be, like, a yellowish color. Right there. Um, and look. They didn't print his pants right there. Also, if you get these things, you'll notice they're, like, a felt material. Which I'm not complaining. I make my plushies out of felt, the ones I make. So I'm not complaining... And like I said at the beginning of the video, since quarantine started, all this, a lot of materials have been gotten, have been expensive, so, you know. But other than that, I'm saying I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10, because it does look pretty accurate, and my biggest thing when I make plushies or when I look at a FNAF plushie is accuracy to the original model. So next we got Roxanne Wolf. Now, first of all, I love the leg warmers, what they did for the leg warmers. The only problem is this head. I don't know what it is. I think it's the eyes are too small, or the she's missing her lipstick, she's missing her fangs, she's missing a lot of things on the face. But other than that, they did good. The pair for me is kind of like a pinkish shade of white. Don't know if you can tell that from the camera, but to me it looks like a pinkish shade. But I'll admit the hair does look pretty good, considering this is actually Scott's first character with hair that's an animatronic, as far as I can remember. And her tail. In fact, look. look. Montgomery's got a tail. So why doesn't she have her big fluffy wolf tail? 
But other than that, I'm going to give it, like, a 6 out of 10. Because, like I said, I judge the characters by accuracy more than anything. Now this one, this is probably the most accurate character. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go over the things that it, they missed. They missed the earrings. And they should have made, you prop like a Toy Chica and Twisted Chica. She has, like, they have, like, little, hold on, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so here's Twisted Chica. As you can see, her feet have these little, like, webbed areas. If she had that, I'd say that looked a lot better. Maybe made the beak a little bigger. And maybe, but other than that, this plushie is very accurate to the game itself. And like I said, I base things off accuracy. And the leg warmer, the printed fabric they got for the leg warmers, that's... That's great. So I'd say I give this one a 9 out of 10. So, yeah. I'd say this is actually the best one and my personal favorite. So there's my opinion on the FNAF Security Breach plushies. Now, normally, this would be the end of the video. But guess what? On Funko's website, they're selling a bunch of other characters. They're selling an original Freddy, uh, Helpy, and Nightmare Freddy. I think Rockstar Foxy. And I know Rockstar Freddy for sure. So I bet you're wondering... And they're also selling two others. Chica and Bonnie. Now, for those of you who are not original collectors, you never got a chance to get them. Here's Chica and Bonnie. So, go to their website. Sci-Fi made a video talking about how to get them. So, you can find them there. So, let's go and review these two plushies real quick. So, this one looks a lot like the original from the images I've seen of her. And I gotta say, this is probably the... this, Even though it's probably just a recreation of the old Chica, it looks great. I like how the bibs on the front, but you can, there's a little bit on the back here too. There's just one problem with this plushie, other than it. <laughs> here's the. It's clearly a different, not only a different fabric, but a different shade of yellow. Now, like I said, Funko probably didn't have many materials when this quarantine started, so it was expensive, so they probably couldn't get that much. But I at least respect the accuracy. Now, Bonnie. Here's the thing. His body feels overstuffed. Like, if you squeeze this, it's not, like, soft and squishy. It's just, like, really hard. Like, you gotta put real effort into squishing his head, his body. His body and arms and legs are not that bad. And he's got a little... And I gotta admit, it does look like an original Bonnie, but there's one problem. They can't do the chopper thing. Now, in case you're wondering what the chopper thing is, hold on a second. So the chopper thing is this. Basically, in these, they have this little plastic bit that keeps them up. But they were just normally not stuffed and just bits of fabric. And you know what you can do with it? Hold on. Kind of sounds like a helicopter. Sly Pie discovered that. And it's, I, mean, I can still do it. It just doesn't sound like a helicopter. Sounds a little bit like a helicopter, but not that much. And here's my favorite part about Bonnie. So as far as I'm aware... Funko, they've never put a tail on a Bonnie except for Bonnet. But behold. It's a tail! It's adorable. It's a hard little tail, but then again, I use pom poms for my Bonnie tails. My bunny tails. And this is just so adorable! Let's just see they, they actually put that there because I think that makes Bonnie look a lot more adorable. So this was my opinion on Chica, Bonnie, and the FNAF security, FNAF security Breach Wave. Now, I'd say the FNAF Security Breach Wave, um, it's not their best wave, but it's not the worst wave, despite what people are saying. It's kind of grayish, you know? It's good, but it's bad, but it's more like a gray area. It's Some of the ideas are good, some of the attention to details are good. But there are some, like, minor missteps. And look look at this. It looks like a bobblehead. Vanny looks like a bobblehead, if I'm being honest here. But I do respect their attention to accuracy with some of their plushies. And, of course, I'm glad that they're starting to sell Chica and Bonnie. And remember, this was off the website. You can get these guys on. And if you want to figure out where to get these guys, too, well, then check out SlyPie. SlyPie's channel. He'll, he, has a, he made a video talking about... And giving a, vis a physical represent, like, he screen recorded what you do. So now you know. And I think it's great that they're start, hopefully they'll start selling a Foxy and maybe the FNAF 2 characters on their website. Because I've always wanted to have original characters like that. I've always wanted to have actual Funko official characters. 
Like, I've always wanted to have a Toy Freddy, a Golden Freddy, a Shadow Freddy, you know. So, hopefully they'll do that in the future, but... Hey. That's just what I think. Now, remember, do not forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you never want to miss another video. And, this is Cars 97 Productions. See you next time. Peace.